when I walked into this house in 1972. Immediately I knew this was the one. The house was in horrible condition, but I could see that the design of the house was very special. But there was one complication. Someone else already had this house in escrow. Fortunately for me, the other person had a contingency in his contract and tried to lower the price. And when he did that, I immediately stepped in and offered his original price and the house was mine. a tremendous fan of Frank Lloyd Wright and I learned that John Lautner had been a, an apprentice and also a key architect working under Frank Lloyd Wright. At the time, around 1979, that I started working with him, he was not doing very well. He wasn't well known, he didn't have many other projects, if any, and so uh, he was thrilled not only to have the opportunity to upgrade this house, but also because he needed the opportunity to uh, do some exciting work. But what made him unusual among famous architects was that he had no ego problem. And unlike many architects who tell their clients what has to be done, he was actually a little too far in the opposite direction. He would never tell me anything that he wanted to have done. <laughs> he always waited to hear from me first. That in some ways made it difficult for me, but it was a challenge for me to uh, come up with ideas and very exciting to see the process evolve from my original ideas. I worked on this house uh, on a non-stop basis for more than 10 years while John Lautner was still alive. Our goal was to take the house to its ultimate point regardless of what it cost and regardless of how long it took. And uh, many things took years to implement, but I don't regret anything that was done and I'm very proud of the way it turned out. When I finished with the house itself, I moved on to other things. The most major project of them all, the new addition to the house, which will more than double the size of the house and will contain some major entertaining facilities. Everything is done in the same style as the house. We've even taken it a little further and almost everything being made out of concrete even though I've already been working on it for at least five years, probably has another five years to go before it's going to be completed in its entirety. I've put out the word that the house will never be for sale because this house became a huge part of my life. <laughs> 